Hey everybody, Jamie here with an update. I haven't posted in a while, so I just wanted to get with you guys and uh, just let you know kind of what's been going on lately. I'm in Quartzsite in uh, Skadden Wash and uh, at a, an event, or not really an event, at a gathering uh, in Skadden Wash. Uh, with some friends, it's called the Partyr. It's gonna wind down in a few days. I'm about to head over to Schooly Palooza in Ehrenberg and probably spend some time over there. I've got some projects I want to work on on the bus and I'd like to meet some people and maybe I'll get some some uh, footage of that event for you to show you what it's all about. I've never been and so I'm excited to do that. But uh, we're winding down this parts yard right now in uh, Skadden Wash and I've got a review of some little handheld chargers that uh, I'm about to be posting but I didn't want to make my next post the review video since it's been so long since I've been visiting with you guys and so I wanted to put this up now and, and uh, in a minute I'm gonna grab the camera and show you outside show you everything that's uh, going on and give you an idea of what it would be like if you were here uh, what can I tell you the GoFundMe everybody uh, contrib contributed to the GoFundMe thank you so much we hit our goal we're I think just north of seven thousand dollars and uh, we haven't spent any of it yet there's a bus in Phoenix that I'd really like to get. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. I'll see if Mars wants to go down and look at it. It's a uh, 7.3 liter uh, power stroke, 2003 with 80,000 miles on it. And it's got the hydraulic lift for the wheelchair. And a guy wants seven grand for it. I really don't wanna spend the entire GoFundMe, you know, in one shot just for the bus. I was gonna maybe offer him six grand, but that's a really good motor and it's got low miles and he may not want to budge so we'll see we'll keep looking if, if it doesn't go through uh, so that's what's going on with uh, Liz's GoFundMe uh, Greg big shout out to Greg uh, one of the contributors to the channel donated a bunch of sound equipment audio equipment mixing board mics mic stands speakers speaker stands uh, we're now able to run sound uh, at, at any time and and Greg was so generous that he donated this this high-level equipment amplifier you name it and spent five days with me out in the desert training me on it he didn't want to leave until I could plug everything in unplug everything and fix anything that wasn't working right if something wasn't working right he got me a, a, a little uh, headphones and uh, just little gizmos I'm trying to think of what else oh another little mixing board that takes USB in case we want to tie USB in I mean he really went the extra mile to make sure that we run uh, when we run uh, van builds or functions in the future that uh, sound was never going to be an issue and from here on it won't be and so Tao did a great job at the last van build and, and you know we're, we're proud and thankful to Tile for the job he did but uh, this way we don't have to worry if something comes up and there's a scheduling conflict or whatever. We've got all that equipment. So huge shout out to Greg. Thanks so much for that. We'll probably need to add a few more mics uh, and some other things. I might put a Amazon wish list together for that uh, and see how that goes. But it's not something that's uh, you know immediately pending. I just want to thank Greg. Thank you guys for chip who chipped in on the uh, GoFundMe. Let you know the status of uh, Liz's project and uh, visit with you. You know, it's been a while since I've been online and since I've posted anything. And so, oh, I got a new trailer. That's another thing. Uh, it's much bigger. We got uh, Liz into my old trailer and now I've got a uh, Hallmark Transport. It's a six by 10 single axle and I'm able to carry it. I got it because I knew the sound equipment was coming and I just was maxed out on my room, both in the bus and the little trailer that I had. And so that's new. I've still got to build it out and kind of make it organized. I want to have an aisle down the middle of it with uh, stuff on the side so I can just kind of walk in and grab something rather than have to pull everything out every time, which I'm doing now. So the trailer's new. I'm about to add two more solar panels to the side of my bus. Since I put the Victron solar controller on my uh, driver's side, the heavy side, with my Battleborn batteries, I discovered that the maximum wattage I was getting was about 435 watts at one time, and it's not uh, able to keep up. So I'm going to add some Santan solar panels to the side of my bus, and I've got, a, I've got an experiment in my mind 
that I'm gonna try to install it and so we'll see how that goes and maybe I'll film some of that and show you I don't know it could be a disaster and I might have to change it three or four times but that's on the horizon I gotta build that out I have all the materials for that uh, let me think if there's anything else going to schoolie palooza in a couple of days got to break down camp I think that's pretty much it that uh, that I uh, have going on let me just Grab the camera, I'm gonna walk you outside and show you what's outside the bus. You'll see the big speakers. I haven't taken them down yet, but they've got blankets on them. I ordered some covers, some proper uh, custom covers for them, but they haven't come in yet. So there'll be some blankets, but you'll see, you know, at least speaker-wise and stand-wise, what kind of a system we're talking about here. It's pretty amazing. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, everybody in the cold weather, sorry about that. Right now it's, 64 degrees outside it's a cloudy day not pulling in much solar but uh, i'm not complaining in the middle of uh, january uh, for those kind of temperatures but anyway let's go out i'm starting to ramble let's go out i'll show you everything and uh the next i'll upload this right now and then the next video you'll see will be the uh, review video for mike on the uh it's a company called Aki and it's called OmniPower and they've got these new uh, high powered charging systems for mostly USB-C and some cool things, but I'll get into that in that video. Let's take a look around, let's go. So you can see folks are playing the uh, the cornhole game here. You can see Tiles Tents, you might recognize him from the van build. He's got his uh, set up in full swing. It's kind of smoky out here for some reason, I don't know, but there's the Jenga going right there. Zoom in on that. They had a Jenga tournament a couple nights ago. Is it, am I showing it? There it is. So you can see some people with jackets on, but you also see folks with short sleeve, short sleeve shirts. Like I said, it's 64 degrees. And then panning around, looks like we're covered on the firewood. There's, there's graham crackers set up, ready. Here's my setup. I got the Enigmatic Pneumatics flag and the bikes are out. Here's one of the speakers right here. And here's the other speaker right here. It, it ended up sounding really good. My little workout station. And then let me just walk up a little bit so you guys can see I don't know, maybe 150 rigs at one point. People kind of coming and going. I think that leprechaun might be uh, Aja. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there's people standing in front of the door, but I think that's Aja's rig, uh, Pandemonium on YouTube. So she's here. Jessica doesn't have her bark collar, or Jessica, um, Savannah doesn't have her bark collar on, obviously. So she's out telling people what to do. But it's just basically a nice day, even though it's overcast. Here comes some uh, dirt bike riders. I mean, that's, that's basically a sense of what's going on. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. If there's a lot of trails to ride dirt bikes or mountain bikes around here, or even just hike and uh, the weather's great. So we'll just go ahead and leave it here for now. And uh, next couple days, I'll get that uh, review video out on that uh, Aki uh, power system stuff. I think that uh, for those of you that are interested in little little gizmos like that, I think you're really gonna like it because it's the new technology. And I think it's kind of more tablet and uh, Apple slash Mac friendly. That's what I use because of the USB stuff. But uh, we'll leave it here for now and I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're staying warm and we'll see you real soon.